Step off the train. You're holding up the train for everybody. Step off or I gotta drag you off. Step off or I have to drag you off. Cause you're holding up the train for all these people trying to go Why home. Why am I holding up a train when I'm sitting on here when I'm going to Brooklyn? No, I will not grab my stuff Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get off of me. Just step off the train. Get off of me. While attempting to board a train from Manhattan to Brooklyn, a passenger found himself in the crosshairs of NYPD officers who alleged that he was occupying more than one seat. During the incident recorded on body cam video in late May, shortly after midnight at East 51st Street and Lexington Avenue in Manhattan, officers unnecessarily and forcefully removed a passenger from the train. In the distressing footage, the body cam unmistakably depicts the passenger occupying a single seat while placing his bags on an adjacent seat. Additionally, it's worth noting that the six car train was very lightly populated, causing no disruption or inconvenience to any other passengers on board the train. As shown in the video, the man complies when he is asked to leave, but is seen in the footage moving to another car. Officer Adonis Long, badge number 2881, made an initial attempt to grab the man's arm, but the passenger pushed the officer's hands away, audibly expressing his discomfort with being touched. As the passenger moved his arm away from Officer Long, Officer Shimuel Saha's body cam footage captured Long physically assaulting the passenger. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get off of me. Just step off. Get off of me. Sit down. Hurry up. Sit down on the floor. Sit down on the floor. At the very least, it is shown in the footage that Officer Adonis Long committed the act of assault. Assault in the second degree to cause someone a serious physical injury. A Class D felony carries a minimum two-year prison sentence for a first-time felony offender and may mean a maximum of seven years in prison. Joseph is a hairstylist in New York who happened to be, well, at the time, down on his luck. That's why he had all of his belongings with him. And as we see, the train is lightly populated. He's not disturbing anyone. He's only sitting his bags on his seat. But for whatever reason, this really triggered the NYPD cops. This was all based on the ego of the cops. You had someone defying or daring to not listen to these police officers and they took it to the next level. And Officer Adonis Long, as you would guess, this is not his first time. Listen, I'm going to take you to the ground. Okay. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, okay. 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 step right there. Police, Let's go. Yeah. Please, come. Stop, please. I got it. Sorry. Sorry, please. I can't breathe in it. Ow. Oh, my God. You got it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. John, give me, give me, give me. I got it. Ow. John. Long, I got it. Ow. Ow. Long. His legs. His legs. Long. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Get his legs. Good job, help. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Johnny. Sit on the chest. Sit on the chest. Johnny, please. Stop. 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 Relax, relax. Help. It will be fine, okay? Help, please, sir. Relax. Please, sir. Calm down, alright? Oh. It will be okay. Relax. Just relax. Help, please, please. Just, 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 just relax. Just I can't I get up, please. I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic attack, sir. Please. Sir, you need to sit down. Just take a deep breath. I All can't. Right. I'm a bit. It hurts. 
hurts, please. I understand it hurts. The more you move, the more it's going to hurt, though. It's going to lock down on you. You just need to relax. The more you relax, the better you'll feel. You cannot. Please, sir, please, 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 please. Just relax. Just relax. I can't relax. breathe. Guys, please, 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 please. Please don't. Please don't. I'm sorry. I'm moving. Guys, please. Ah, you're killing me. I'm going to flat, I'm going to flat him out. No, guys. Right. Sir. Ow, please. Oh, my God, please. Please, guys, please. Please. Ow. Ow, please. Ow. Guys, help me. Help, please. Guys! Help! 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 Help, not me. Help, please. Help. The passenger, identified as Joseph in a federal lawsuit filed in Manhattan Federal Court, contends that the officers falsely claimed that he attempted to flee from them and that he shoved long while kicking his right hand. However, a few weeks following the incident, the shocking body cam footage emerged, revealing Officer Long assaulting the 30-year-old homeless man who had refused to get off the train. Joseph is seen in the body cam footage crying and pleading for the officers to stop. Police initially charged him with resisting arrest, obstruction of governmental administration, and taking up more than one seat on the subway. However, in court, the charges were upgraded to felony assault. All charges against Joseph were ultimately dismissed, though he stated that he would file a lawsuit for $40 million. Joseph settled his federal lawsuit against New York City for $135,000, and Officer Adonis Long is facing disciplinary actions. However, Officer Long is still employed and has not faced any criminal charges at this time. This was a very disturbing video to watch. It took place in 2020, but the settlement was reached in 2023. And as I stated, Officer Adonis Long has not faced any criminal charges and he is still employed with the NYPD. We can see in this video, he placed his hands around Mr. Joseph's throat several times. He even forcibly pushed Mr. Joseph's head down, although Mr. Joseph continued to state that he could not breathe. And as you would imagine, the prosecutors charged Mr. Joseph with the felony, taking the word of this cop until this video emerged, showing why it is always important to record police and make sure their body cams are going as well. With that being said, make sure you know your rights. We the People University, signing off. In a world shrouded in secrecy, where trust is fragile and justice hangs in the balance, one brave author, Abaya Israel, has unveiled the truth. Living in the world of tyranny, a gripping expose by Abaya Israel uncovers the hidden stories that have haunted police departments across America. Dive into the heart-pounding pages of a book that pulls no punches, revealing shocking secrets hidden behind the badge. Inside, you'll discover stories of cops fighting cops, police chiefs entangled in unprofessional relationships, and unspoken truths about deaths that were swept under the rug. Abaya Israel powerful narrative will leave you on the edge of your seat, unveiling a side of law enforcement you've never seen before. Are you ready to uncover the hidden world of tyranny that's been kept in the shadows for far too long? Readers are calling it a revelation, a wake-up call, and a courageous masterpiece that's long overdue. Living in the World of Tyranny by Abaya Israel, who is also the driving force behind we the People University, the popular YouTube channel that has been exposing police corruption for over two years, is a riveting revelation, a must-read for those who seek the truth. But that's not all. Don't miss out on the book that's making waves across the nation. Get your copy of Living in the World of Tyranny now, and be prepared to have your perspective forever changed.